course I have a speedo. Right, speedo fixed. Right, so now I know how fast I'm going. Woo! That's a good thing, obviously. <sighs> Can't have the plot pulling me over for speed, now can we? Hopefully the mic sounds better because I found a little foam piece for it, because I lost it. And the angle should be set right now. Well, for saying it's half past two in the afternoon, this is a hell of a lot of traffic. Uh, let's be sneaky. Could never have enough sneaky as far as I'm concerned. Sneaky Russian! Oh, I just love the power of this bloody thing. I am so glad I got one. So, so very, very happy I got a ZX12. Of course, it's not my ultimate bike. My ultimate bike is the Suzuki B King, which is just an absolute Larry beast. But, uh, the minimum you're going to pay for one of them, even in the first for year or so, uh, like a 2005 or a 2006, is going to be a lot like about four and a half, five grand. And unfortunately, in this day and age, not many of us have got four and a half, five grand to pay for a bike. So this baby cost me just just over a grand, plus extra to get her on the road. But obviously not all in one lump sum set, you can afford a hundred quid here and a hundred quid there sort of thing. So, in total I, I figure she's cost me about two grand. With all the bits and bobs that I've bought and money I've spent on getting her on the road. Like, I've just had to pay another 25 quid to get a, a, a speedo sender unit. So, as you can see. Speedo works now. Uh, well, you're in for a shock. Oh no. It's still open. And it's damn warm today as well. Yeah, so uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I love every single bit of this bike. I haven't found the thing I don't like about it yet. Well, other than the fact that it's not a B-King, but I can live with that. And plus also with this uh, very unique headlight that I've built myself on the front. Um, which is, uh, oh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Originally it was a CBR 600 headlight off, uh, I think, off an 04 model. Uh, so it's like a twin fox eye sort of shape. But it was all battered and broken and what have you. So uh, I cut it apart to split it into two lights. And uh, welded up, plastic welded all the damage. 
and then plastic welded them back together closer so they're nigh on touching uh, I've then put uh, aluminium plates on it to reinforce the join and um, put uh, high low head projector beams with halos on them and uh, day low running strips in LED and also I put LED or amber LEDs in uh, for the indicators and then the screen is a uh, cut down and shaped to fit um, phaser 600 uh, fair and screen The only thing about these bar end mirrors is you're a bit wider than you are normally, so you have to be a bit careful. And thankfully, everyone's been nice and kind and give me plenty of room. Yeah, so this headlight is totally unique. There won't be another one like it on the planet. Uh, right, okay, so this is really going to be my first proper vlog, video log, and I've just got a question, something that I've noticed about the other vlogs that I've been been watching by various other people, uh, to just name a few, uh, like Elliot Reed, MD, uh, Baron Von Grumble, uh, Delinquentious, or however you pronounce her name, um, NL Rider, NL Rider Wife, all those um, plus a, a lot of the British ones I can't think of the names off the top of my head um, unfortunately I do apologize for that um, but one thing I have noticed and it's just a, a curiosity for me more than anything else is that I've noticed that a lot of the video loggers ride like 600s or around the mid-range bikes and I'm so you can answer for this, or you can bitch and whine at me as much as you like. It, 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 it's just a question. It's not that I'm trying to be nasty in any way, but I'm just wondering why the mid-range. So I know, like Baron von Grumble, he rides a Giz a thousand, but I think his previous bike was a CBR six, the Repsol one. I'm not sure, quite sure. Um, it's not nothing wrong in that. I just wonder why so many people are riding mid-range bikes. I know lots of people do like, but um, it's just um, I'm wondering if um, sort of like if the bigger bike, if because bigger bikes are a bit more powerful need a little bit more concentration, that's why you have less people video logging on bigger bikes. Um, that's mainly the question um, more than why you lot riding mid-range bikes. Because um, there's nothing wrong with mid-range bikes. There is for me personally. I can't ride anything less than about a 750. Um, just mainly because of my sights. Because I'm a fat booger. Um, so I need something with quite a bit of grunt just to get going. Um, as we mate Sai says, I need an absolute missile of a bike just to do 30 mile an hour because I'm such a heavy bugger. But uh, he's just taking the mick because he's a sucky shite. Um, so that was basically the only question, my only sort of like, or, or like um, the thing that I'd noticed. And uh, so I have been watching a hell of a lot of video logs from all you good guys out there. There's, uh, some of them are really hilarious, some of them are very informative, and some of them are uh, just plain and simple informa informative. Um, but they're all entertaining in their own way. Hopefully mine shall be as well. Although the difference being is, because I am now on this ZX-12, which is an absolute monster, a lot of it is going to be this. And 
I do appreciate drivers that pull over. It shows one they're watching what's going on being around them, and it also it shows a little bit of um, courtesy for other road users. Even though basically I have none as a biker. Well, I do, but uh, you don't have to have as much. Uh, sod it. And unfortunately I have still got a stinking cold, which means I'm sniffing all the time, so apologies for that. Take a little bit of run around the uh, Lincoln Bypass. And I am so glad that uh, I put these brake discs on. They are so good. I also followed the uh, advice of the guy I got them off, uh, a company down, I got them through eBay, but a company down in Coventry. Uh, the chap used to make um, EBC's discs, so I gather. I sort of like go with it, with the fact that if he used to make EBC's, he knows what he's doing. Uh, but he also advised me to put on Ferrero did, uh, pads, um, the Cinder Grip ones, and I must admit, they are very, very good. Look at that, I'm doing 70 mile an hour and I'm not even doing 4,000 revs. That's just silly. I didn't change down the gear, she just pulls! Don't matter what gear you're in, don't matter what speed you're doing, when you just you twist the throttle and it just freaking goes like a rocket. I absolutely love this bike. Looked like for a second there, looked like a guy had his pants hanging out the window. Yeah, so these brakes, um, these brake discs that this guy in Coventry, I'll uh, see if I can find the link and put it in the uh, description um, for the guy, because they are awfully good discs and they're reasonably priced. 160 quid for a pair. 